Thank you. Thank you, Frank. It's a pleasure to be here. So, uh, what's going to be in store on uh, the future of Bone Nerd Notice with uh, Larry? Is Larry going to be coming back? Larry is coming back. Uh, they don't. They haven't told me the storyline, although I think Jake Arn's character and Larry, my character, are going to be in the same episode together, so the two bad guys are going to butt heads. Um, and I get to direct the episode right before the one I'm acting in, so I'm not doing double duty in the same episode, which is somewhat of a relief. And I get to spend more time with the guys and uh, relax a little bit when I'm acting. So uh, are you going to be involved in Cobra and Ferris more, or was that just a one-time thing? I was so, it was probably, it's just a one-time thing. Uh, they're, I think, another month or so before they finished their first season, and they have just knocked it out of the park. They're, um, I love that show and the cast and, and the creative staff, and, and it was a treat for me to work with Doug Lyman, uh, who's like one of the masters at doing an action movie, and, and was gracious enough to share his wisdom with me in, in certain sequences and, uh, and, and help it take a step up, you know. And, um, but I'd love to go back, and I'm talking to them about other projects and things, so um, it's, it's, it's a mutual love for us. We all got to see you on uh, White Collar, too. Oh, yes, yes. So uh, you just kind of making the round. For the USA Network, any ideas? You know, would it be of interest to do your own show? Something that you might want to kind of headline and be a character on them? Oh my God! It, you know, it would be great. But it, it, the thing about USA is that it, it comes out of you know they don't make many pilots, but the ones that they make are, are, are story based and story driven. I did a pilot for USA that sold, and I heard that it sold the end of my first episode on Burn Notice, the first season. And then it never got made. It was called uh, To Love and Die in L.A. And um, it, it was wonderful with Sherry Appleby and, and uh, gosh, and a bunch of people. But it, it just, they couldn't crack it. And that's the USA way. It's not going to work. We're not going to shoot it. We're not going to try it. We haven't failed. Um, and God bless them for that. Yeah, I would love to. And, and um, at this point, I'm, I, think, I think the cable networks are leading television in a new direction, away from more traditional, straight ahead, kind of more boring television, which sometimes is on the network. Do you, as an artist, find directing more challenging or less challenging than being an actor? Or no, uh, it's, it's, more it's more challenging. Yeah, yes, you're right. It's, it is much more challenging, unless you're playing one of the great roles, you know, if you have a, an amazing complex role, so Hamlet, you know, or, you know or, or just even a great, a great film role, um, and you don't always get that as an actor, so it's up and down, but as a director, even a bad movie, you're working so hard and trying to make it better within the context of what it is, and when you get good material, like we do on Burn Notice or White Collar, it turned out that way, and, and uh, Covert Affairs. Uh, it's just it's such a treat and a thrill, but it makes me fight even harder because as an artist and as a director to take it to the next level, you know, to just get a little bit more out of it, squeeze it, squeeze the production just a little bit more. So um, I love I love acting, but, but directing is, is perhaps the most exciting thing in my life right now. To sort of jump on with that, could you talk a little bit about what you go through when you're directing something that you're also starring in? Sure, um, it's it's tricky. Uh, I was nervous about acting in White Collar because I mean, Burn Notice I'd done several episodes before. It was my second episode, I think, when I was direct, directing. They asked me to act, and it hadn't been planned and it just popped up, and they didn't you know they didn't know, and it just fell into place and it worked out really well. I thought. White Collar, I'd never done the show before, it was the big season opener, and it was like, oh, maybe you should play this part. And I was like, oh, jeez, you know, I don't know these people, I'm getting, you know, do, would I have the support when I'm off, when I'm acting to watch over the directing aspect of it? And, and I thought it worked out really well, I mean, and I trust the actors and the uh, cinematographer and, and uh, Jeff King, who's the other, uh, who's the producer of the show, was there, and he would help me, you know, perform this thing. So it, it worked out really well. It was a little scary. There is one more question here. All right, if you had to choose one, acting or directing? Directing. Directing? 
I think. I mean, you know, it's just. Uh, ho hopefully, I don't. But uh, I think that it's it's a huge creative involvement of every aspect of who and what you are. Um, it's intellectual, and, and then it's physical, and uh, it's an endurance contest, and it's a people skill contest because you're on the set working with so many people, working with other artists, actors, and, um, and you know, I think Ronnie Howard said it best. He said, you know, at some point in his career, he said, I realized I wasn't going to play the parts that I really wanted to play. And that's when he started losing his hair. And uh, he's, so he said that's when he really started getting into directing. And, you know, and I played many of the parts that I wanted to play, but as I got older, I wasn't, they weren't that interesting. It was great. But, you know, they just, there weren't that many, it wasn't that much, it wasn't that fulfilling. And so this is totally important. So thank you guys. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you.